Once upon a time, there lived a duke and duchess very much in love. In fact, they loved one another so much that their daughter, little Rapunzel, was born with a gift. She had golden hair that grew and grew. In that magical kingdom, there lived an evil witch who dreamed of creating the most powerful spell in the world. That's why, when she heard her neighbor speaking of Rapunzel's magic hair, she decided to kidnap the little girl. The witch hid the little girl in a forest in a high tower with only one window. Rapunzel spent her childhood locked in that room, thinking that the witch was her mother. Each day, the witch visited her beautiful prisoner and shouted from the ground, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The young girl would let her long hair cascade to the ground so that the witch could climb up the tower. <laughs> the witch thought that if she told Rapunzel scary stories about the outside world, the girl would never try to escape. But she was wrong. Rapunzel dreamed of leaving the tower to travel the world and have adventures. One fine day, the prince of the kingdom was walking through the forest when he heard a beautiful song. He followed the melody until he reached a mysterious tower and saw a witch shout, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. The prince watched in astonishment as the witch climbed up the girl's long mane. The following day, the prince imitated the witch's voice so that Rapunzel would once again let her hair down. When the young man climbed the tower towards the window, the girl was scared. She'd never seen another person besides her captor. <coughs> A short time after he climbed the tower, the prince's kindness and charm had melted Rapunzel's heart. The two shared an unforgettable morning but when he asked her to visit his castle, the girl explained that she was forbidden from leaving the tower. I'd love to go with you, but the world is full of monsters, elves, and ogres who want to cut my hair. That's why my mother won't let me leave, said Rapunzel. So the prince told her that outside she'd find beautiful landscapes generous people, and delicious sweets. Not everything was painful and sad, so they decided to plan an escape. Every day, the prince would bring Rapunzel a skein of silk and, little by little, she would weave a ladder to escape the tower. The days passed while Rapunzel and the prince carried out their plan. Little by little, love grew between them. The girl waited impatiently each day for the prince's visit. She was so happy, in fact, that the witch began suspecting something and started to call on Rapunzel more often until, one day, she saw the boy climbing the tower. The witch hid and waited until the prince left and then punished Rapunzel by cutting off her beautiful golden hair. Now no one could climb the tower to visit her. The next day, the witch tied the long mane to the window to trick the prince into thinking it was his beloved waiting for him. But when the boy arrived to the room in the tower, the witch cursed him with a powerful spell. Did you really think you would snatch Rapunzel away from me so easily? Her magical power belongs to me, and soon I will rule you all, shrieked the witch. When Rapunzel saw her loved one in danger, a magical power woke up from inside of her. Her golden locks began to grow immediately, stronger and shinier than before. It was then that she discovered her real gift. She could use her hair as if it were her own two hands. Rapunzel wove her hair around the witch and bound the sorceress. The girl thought that anyone as cruel as that witch could never be her mother, and she had to find out the truth. Yeah. <laughs>
With the witch tied up, the two lovers fled towards the royal palace, where the entire court awaited them. That evil witch would be forever imprisoned in the dungeon to preserve peace in the kingdom. And there, between the nobles who celebrated the prince's return, were the Duke and Duchess, Rapunzel's real family. And that's how Rapunzel discovered her true gift, that which had allowed her to escape, her freedom. Uh -huh.